Each September, half a million children begin the most important year of school so far. Year seven. CBBC have rigged this secondary school with loads of cameras. So you can see exactly what happens as they make new friends and get into trouble. If you wish to find out how strict I can be, then break the rules I set down. I'm not spotting makeup there, am I? But what they learn here <laughs> will stay with them forever. Hello there, I'm Mr Thorburn and I'm a science teacher here. If you've ever wondered what secondary school's like, here's your chance to find out. This is our school. How can you do that? This time, we're meeting Jessica... ..and Jamie. Two big personalities trying to settle into life at our school. These are like the best things in the world, I know. Despite not knowing anyone here, within days Jessica's already making friends. Jess is probably the chattiest. <laughs> She's loud, Jessica. She is loud. <laughs> but she's nice. She's nice, Jess. She's not nasty or anything. P E R F E F E C T. Perfect. Oh, yeah, sure. I thought she'd be like uh, quiet for the first week because, like, it's the first week. You don't want to get detention or anything. But she's a loud ass. She shouts and stuff. Oh, yeah. oh my God. She makes me laugh when I'm upset. And she's always there to care for everyone. Who wants an ice cream parlour? Me! She's that type of person who's humorous that can make friends just like that. And you won't like Shirley. Because you'd be like, oh, she's funny, I should laugh at the jokes. Do you want to go walkies, girl? <laughs> Outside school, Jessica has a really busy life. I think that I'm more responsible than other 11-year-olds. I walk the dog, cook. My tea, normally. <laughs> One, two, three. Ah! My little brother oh. Joe, he's almost three, and I change Joe's nappies. Um, I to wipe his bum. <laughs> <laughs> well, my favourite hobbies are like football, but I don't want to get too carried away, not so I look like a tomboy. You know what I mean? So. Um, football, I love tag rugby, and most of all, dancing. I love dancing so much. Going to a new school, it's a bit scary, because popular is just like, loads of people want to be a friend, but fitting in is most important, because you want to fit in with the teachers, friends, who you're going to sit next to in class, talk together, work as a team, but I'm not sure about being popular. <laughs> I think my new school friends would think of me like really like a best friend, like a close friend, because I'm really cheeky, funny, friendly, and they'd like it. Get your sticker sheets out so I can give you your, uh, your I can do electricity me sticker. But being so friendly and chatty means Jessica sometimes finds it hard to focus in class. Electrical current, very good. If you have... Oi! And she soon catches my eye. Rule number one, when I'm talking, you're not. OK? Right, so we're going to do about electricity today. Someone's took my folder. That's mine. Hello there. Time to have a little word. It's all right, Jess, Jess is going to get one anyway. Yeah. Oh, Thanks, sir. Thank You're welcome. Thank you. you did the work. You're just a little bit too chatty. Do you think? Oi. Do you think? It's all right. Look, I understand. I was, you know. <laughs> no. It's got nothing to do with it. Um, I just want you to try a little bit harder next time, just to think. Oi. Look at me. Look, you're not in trouble, right? I just want you to try a little bit harder next time, just to try and think about. If I open my gob and talk about this, will Thorburn blow his top? All right. I just all I want to do is you're a lovely girl, and I just want you to do well. Oh, thank okay. You. 
Right. But don't make us angry at you because I hate getting angry. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. You're welcome. Thank you. There you go. Thank you, sir. Mr. Thorburn thinks I'm lovely. I think everybody's nice. This is a lovely, lovely class. Even him. Even him. <laughs> Give me a sticker sheet. Mr. Thorburn is like really nice, and normally he does shout a little bit because he's sick of people. Shh! Write them down! Like talking in lessons, and when he says oh, I'm a little chit chat, I don't really care because it's true. Let's hope you can calm down a bit, Jess. Oh, and I only shout when I really have to. Right! Quiet, please. Learning science, we are. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd like you to open your planners and I'd like you to write the homework in. And you either need it to be checked by Miss or by me. Yes, it is. When Jamie started at our school, he went into what we call the progress group. For year sevens who need more support with their lessons. Lots of the progress group are only here until they're ready to move back into the main school. But Jamie sees it differently. The progress group is where I think um, thick people go and not that very smart. I felt that I was not that smart and I was quite thick. That's why I was in it. Right, nice easy one then. Because Jamie finds some subjects hard, like English and maths, he can get frustrated and misbehave. I think the hardest thing is the maths. When I'm doing my work, I can get a bit funny and <coughs> start messing about. You got to in the chest and some people laugh and some people don't. Oh, I'm sorry, who's in charge here? Me. Me. You. Yeah. Right. Jamie's determined to move out of the progress group and into the main school. But to do that, he'll have to improve his behaviour. I think with Jamie, in terms of moving out of the progress group, I think his attitude would need to change. But if he moves into mainstream classes with this attitude, he's going to get into massive amounts of trouble and you'll start to fall behind again, and we don't want that. One thing that all New Year 7s have to deal with, whether they like it or not, is homework. In geography, Mrs O'Boyle had asked 7AG to complete a task at home. It's great to see people's homeworks looking really good there, and I'll be really looking forward to looking at that homework, seeing what your thoughts and ideas about geography Jessica are. Jessica has come into class empty-handed. Uh, it's usually quite an interesting experience marking the first lot of homework, OK? So I'm looking forward to that. What's up? I haven't done it. I'll speak to you at the end of the lesson. OK. I was so annoyed. It's, it's hard to do homework, and you don't know when it has to be in because you can't be bothered looking in your planner. I should have got let off the hook because that was the first time I forgot my homework, but I don't think she was very impressed. I think you might be right, Jess. And Mrs O'Boyle hasn't finished yet. Jess, I expect to see you tomorrow at lunchtime, right? So come and see me at 12.20. If you've got your book with you and your homework is done, right? Yeah. Then it will be a fairly short detention. If not, you'll be with me for lunchtime. All right. All right. Make sure it's done on time, please. So Jess already has a detention. <laughs> Meanwhile, in maths... <laughs> Jamie's finding it hard to concentrate. Do we use a weak or a strong? Can I just remind you, you've got homework, which is due... <laughs> And be handed in to me tomorrow. <gasps> Is that what about a famous magician? Mathematician. Magic. Yeah. Magicians. Not magicians. When Mr. Waterson's not looking, things kick off. All oh, right, okay. When he turns around, we stop. <laughs> Do you know what? Don't actually touch if it. If you have done Do anything you know behind my back. It wasn't that bad, actually. What was it? He just punched me in the face. <laughs> yeah, you went boom. Right. No, you went like that. Right, lads. <clears throat> When he steps out of the room... Stop hitting me with a pencil. Jamie sees another chance to mess about. <laughs> Jamie is, um... Well, he's funny in all sorts of ways. He's, um... A bit cheeky, a bit, you know, like, silly. <laughs> oh. I've knuckled down in a couple of classes, but some of them I just can't do, so I just give up. My dad's PC plump. <laughs> Mr. Waterson has had enough. 
Right. Right, lads. In all seriousness, I need you to separate. We've been silly on that back table. Right, can you split up, please? There's loads of tables around this room. I'm waiting for people to do some work. We've been a bit silly. Can we have one more chance? Unfortunately, even being moved doesn't stop Jamie. Oliver! Uh, I was giving his rubber back. Right, stop it. That was a pass. Catch it next time. There will be a next time. I'm sure. In detention at lunchtime, there was like a whole load of us. I got told off for making comments. Mayne was told off for her attitude. And Kevin was told off for provoking us. I haven't got one yet, so touch wood. With homework, but like, yeah, they give you the detentions. Bring it to me the next day before nine o'clock and you're, you're off the hook, but if you don't, you're in detention. Some teachers are just like, right, that's it. I don't, you haven't brought in, so you've got detention. You get detention and you will die. Well, yeah, but then obviously my mum are like, a lot. My parents are quite strict about getting detention and all that stuff. Some people just tip X out of the planet. I mean, it's like, yeah. it's going to go on your report. What are you going to do, tip X that out as well? Yeah. No, I did have to stay in one break time, though, because I didn't. I, apparently I didn't do um, the appropriate amount of, of work for an English class in half an hour. My mind was blank. After not handing her geography homework in and having some serious attitude, there. Jessica's come to meet Mrs O'Boyle for her break time detention. I've got my whole work. OK, let's have a look. <coughs> right, when I asked for your homework, what was your response? Can you remember? Yeah, but I didn't have enough time. Right. Why do you think that's not a good enough excuse? I don't know, really. When you said to me I was busy, what kind of message do you think I got from that? Probably I don't, I don't believe her, really. She's just making up an excuse so she can't do a whole match. If you were me, is that what you'd be thinking? Yeah, I was too busy. It comes across to me like I had other priorities and this isn't important. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah? OK. This should be important. So when you're speaking in, you know, you're speaking to a teacher, make sure you get your homework done on time, first of all. But think about the message you're giving about yourself, all right? Yeah? yeah. Can I have a promise that next time it will be done on time? Yeah. Absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you. Well done. Right. Put your chair under and off you go. That's a lesson learned for Jess. Maybe. He looked shabby and his manners were coarse. He seemed to be used to being obeyed. Yeah. Meanwhile, Jamie's quickly getting a reputation as, well, a bit of a pain. He's desperate to leave the progress group and move into the main school, but his behaviour is getting worse by the day. Want to walk get on the floor? He's very good at being able to shy away from what he needs to do. He has all the tricks, um, which I used to use, which is why I know about them. Looks like a little ball now. Put it down. OK, here we go. In every class I've done, every learn so far, I've got told off more than once. <laughs> and I'm trying to get told off in at least one lesson, but it's not working. Reports of Jamie's shenanigans have reached the head of the progress group, Mrs Pack, and she's not happy. And unfortunately, some students in particular, I feel, are maybe letting this group down a little bit. And I don't know whether that's because they don't feel that they should be in here or better than anybody else, or really just generally are quite rude. I think she might be talking about you, Jamie. OK. Right. Now let's go on with some learning, because that is what it's all about. Right? Thank you, sir. Thank you. But will Mrs Pack's words of warning make any difference to Jamie? Oh, there's a scary. Oh, oh. Oh. It's lunchtime. Jessica and classmate Libby have been called names by an older boy. And they've decided to report him to Year 7 manager, Mr Livesey. Right, girls, you two just want to grab a seat. I'm going to go bring another chair in. 
Right. You want to grab that one? Oh, it's all right. <laughs> but because the boy said sorry, Libby's not sure they should take things further. Jess, you need to say that it doesn't matter anymore because you can't make this go big because he's already apologised. Even though he said sorry, he still he still said it in the first place. He, he needs to... Even though he's apologised to me, he still said it to me and upset me, so he needs to be sorted out, really. Right, sorry, girls. OK, so, who had the problem? Just... You, well, or no, both of you? Well, it was, it was both sort of us, really. but right. it, he aimed the bad language to Jess, if you get me, and he said, oh, leave me alone, you lesbian. Right. And so then I said, oh, well, oh, well, why did he say that? And then Jess said... And if I got some photographs, would you recognise him? Maybe, Jess. Yeah, yeah, I think right. so. OK, just bear with me. All right. The girls are upset because the word lesbian was used. A lesbian is a girl or woman who is gay. We can have a quick squeeze through. Okay. Libby did say that I should forget about it, but that's not the point. He took the mick, saying that I'm ugly and all that. So I, I would say, even though he's apologised, he's only apologising so he can get out of trouble. Who cares if I was a lesbian? It, would, it wouldn't interfere with my life. But I wouldn't be, like, upset about it. He seemed like genuinely sorry. I think he's because, you know, like he's an older boy and yeah. I think he didn't think before he said what he no said. No problem. Yeah. It's still not that right. That's fine. He still needs to have a few picks up. All right. Thank you. Mr. Livesey found him and sorted stuff out, so it's all better now. As Year 7 are about to find out, using lesbian or gay as an insult is a serious kind of bullying. The school have invited Sean Delenti, a deputy head from another school, to talk to Year 7 about what happened to him when he was their age. That's me. I'll tell you, tell you something about myself there. I already know that I'm different. And as I get older, I understand that that feeling is that I'm gay. And I kind of always knew that. When I got to secondary school, um, I started to be bullied right from the first day. And during my time at secondary school, I was spat on, laughed at, punched, kicked, hit, pushed, and I was told that I would go to hell. All of that by the time I'm your age. How do you think that might affect somebody, a young person? How do you think that might affect them? How do you think it's so upsetting, especially getting punched, kicked, spat on. Spawn, there's no need for it. There's nothing really wrong with being gay. If I'm being honest, it's just your life, you live it. And... It's just like judging someone for who they are. Because, like, I mean, I've had, ra I've been, like, people have been racist to me a few times as well. And, like, I know how it feels. Come with, I could come, come to you and every day and just call you gay. I would come, you're gay, you like, gay every like, day. So, like, be you would say someone, say someone, like, does something. It, if, if he's gay, that's him. That's how you have to respect exactly. him Exactly. That, that's his choice. If I saw one of my friends getting bullied, then I would join in and just tell them to go away and help my friend get up and stuff. I didn't think that homophobic bullying could have such a big effect on people, and even on people who aren't gay. It's like, stu it's like some kids making fun of you, which is not right. They shouldn't be making fun of you. The Assembly has really got the Year 7s thinking and the discussion carries on in tutor time. Just think, has anyone ever discriminated against you? So, has anybody ever said anything yeah. against you? Yeah. So just have a think. I've been called a racist name. Somebody's called oh. you a racist name, yeah. right. It made you feel bad. Made you feel bad, OK. Harry? And, like, they came calling out to me and saying, why are you like that? Right. Hands up if you've had somebody call you a bad name. Ooh, right, so... Oh. Shh, shh, shh. So everybody in this room has had somebody call them a derogatory term, OK? I want us to sign a petition to promise that we will never use that term, gay, in a derogatory sense. If you get name called, that's a sign of bullying. I would just 
go and see your deputy or your head teacher, tell them what's happening, stuff like that, and then maybe you could like sort it out and be friends or something. After Mrs. Pack's telling off, Jamie seems to be making more of an effort. He's even improving in maths. That's why I was so incredibly <laughs> impressed with that. Yours was interesting, actually, because yours, your first one was 25%. And then for that second one, it's, a, it's jumped massively to 45%. Oh, God. I went to 22% to 45. That's mint. We seem to have seen a lot of progress with Jamie. Yeah, he's still cheeky. <laughs> let's do the second half. But we are channeling that in a, in a really positive way. I hate all chocolate, but I like potatoes. If I've made a good impression of any of the teachers... Yeah, yeah as many as you can find. That's it, Jamie. I think that's good because I've done, like, good work for one teacher and then I just have to do a bit more on the other teachers. Jamie didn't want to be in the progress group when he came to our school. Miss, I'm finished. Wow. But now he's joining in with the class and he's started helping other students too. Good. Well done. Thanks, Jamie, there for helping you out. Wow. I'm really, really pleased with um, what we've seen from Jamie. And Jamie's going to tell me something else about the story that we've done so far. Um, they only took the scroll, but they didn't take the coins from the sea chest. Well done. <laughs> Last lesson. Hi right, guys. Hi. Oh no, not history again. Oh, let's not come in with a negative attitude, please. I can go back out. Whilst Jamie's doing better in his lessons, Jessica's still getting herself into trouble. <laughs> it seems she just can't keep a lid on it. Just stand up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're wasting time. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to lose break time tomorrow? Oh. <laughs> that Jess, do you want to? No. <laughs> it's actually really, really hard because you've got these, like, other people who shout out. That's not fair. But when I shout out, because I, I shout out louder, then that's when the trouble starts with the teachers. <laughs> Sir, no, <laughs> it was just... Jess, I'm thinking from now on I'm not going to let you sit no, in that room. come on. Because you're getting too excited. No, it's me. And you're not listening when I ask you to. <laughs> it's me that you said something incredibly rude. <laughs> you can keep standing up for the rest of the lesson. Oh, that isn't fair. Fed up with Jess's behaviour, Mr. Glenn Denning has called her in at break time. I take a seat. I'm not in trouble, am I? I've done nothing wrong, sir. Right. Why do you think? You're here. I don't have a clue. Have a think. Have a good think about why you might be here. Still don't have a clue. Don't know at all. Right, OK, so what have I spoken to you about in the past? Laughing and messing around in the classroom. Mm hmm We've already had this chat last week and you promised that you were going to start to settle down in lessons um, not keep shouting. I mean, I'm having to ask you to stand up in every single lesson, aren't I? Because you keep talking. Yeah? Now, do you think that is acceptable? No, sir. No? I'm just really happy. I don't know why. No? I'm, I'm really... Like, all the time, like, wild in the playground. I go, I go, I'm really happy that you're really happy. I'm really but... glad that you're settling in. You're a great personality in the class. You've always come up with great ideas. Mm but you need to kind of channel your enthusiasm and focus that enthusiasm to the lesson. Now, I know you're capable, I know you can do it. So, what we're going to do? Um, start fresh. Right. Settle down. So, we'll start afresh, we'll wipe the slate clean. So, hi, my name's Mr Glenn Denning. Hi, I'm Jess. Hi, Jess. <laughs> so, keep your enthusiasm. Just focus at what you're going to be doing, OK? Yeah. Promise? Promise. Promise, promise? This time I will promise, 
this time you'll promise, promise, that's yeah. what I like to hear. I pinky promised him that I wouldn't talk in lessons and I would concentrate hard. Right? Mm. Right. Mm. Enjoy the rest of your break. Thank you. It's like so hard for me to shut my mouth and I just don't know how to do it, how to be silent, how to be quiet, I just don't know. Oh. I want you to show your enthusiasm. Just focus it, OK? Right, Today is Jamie's birthday. It's a Wally card from Chris and Michael. Oh, nice. But along with all the cards and the presents, there's a letter from school. Jamie has progressed well in the progress group. He is showing confidence, positive attitude and an ability su to succeed. We would like to start the process of integrating Jamie into all of his mainstream lessons. Well done. Eh? Great news. I think I've been moved out of the group because I've done, like, knuckle down a lot more than I did before because I used to mess about and talk. Yes! So Jamie got his wish. He's out of the progress group and into the main school. Year seven, signal. Right, and remember, the only person who can talk with a hand up is me, because I'm the teacher, OK? He's come a long way from the days when he thought he just wasn't clever enough. I feel I've proved that I'm smarter than I was, because I thought I was thick and not good. Jamie, go on, tell us. I think it's the owl now, because it has feathers. Yeah. Well done, you're picking out some clues. So it could be a bird. I feel like I'm a lot more grown up than I was before. He still has his moments, though. Finn watches for Finn, Finn, Finn. Oh, he's not off. <laughs> and it looks like Jess is finally taking Mr. Glenn Denning's advice. She's trying harder in class. <gasps> Never guess what, sir. What's that? Ta da! Wow. And getting her homework in on time. Fantastic. Um. Like loud, I'm very, very loud in this school. But you need to like focus on your work and stop laughing around in class. I think like I, I like the school and it's like giving me a good future, really. Next time on our school, competition is fierce for a spot on the school football team. Battling it out for a place are Nathan. I always like to win. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much I like football, definite 10. And Alex. If it's against people that are better than me, I'll still be competitive and I'll want to win everything that I do. Do you want to be my special friend? No, thanks. OK. I'm not sure if you're actually allowed to spray in the classroom. <laughs> Do you want me to go for that? Yes, yeah. No, do it. Do it, please. Do it for the camera. Excuse me, I'm the camera. I swear to God, no one takes my makeup and gets away with it. Hello, my friends. Today I am on TV. Yay! Yeah.